This is a current list of all my custom GPTs. I've made these all free to use inside ChatGPT. And in this video, we're gonna go through each of them very quickly, right? We're gonna show examples, how to use it, what it spits out, what is its output. I'll quickly show you how it was made in the back end, and then I'll give out links so that you can use it too. Okay, let's get into it. All right, first off, the custom GPT that started it all is SEO Fox. SEO Fox is an expert in creating SEO optimized, engaging, and original full length articles. It walks you through the steps, it holds your hand in creating these articles, and all you have to do is start with a keyword or key phrase. Let's say my keyword was art history. So I'll start by typing that in and click enter. First off, SEO Fox is gonna give me a list of potential article titles. So I'll just read a few here. Art history decoded, understanding the world's greatest art movements. Number five, masterpieces and movements, a comprehensive guide to art history. So what I do is I'd read through these five and I would select one. Let's go with number five. So I'm gonna write, please use number five. Now SEO Fox is gonna create a five point article outline. And my job is to read this over and make sure I like it. So it spit out introduction to art history, ancient beginnings, Renaissance and Baroque. Hope I pronounced that right. Modern art movements and contemporary art and beyond. So I think this is good. So I'm gonna write that works. So next step, it's gonna write the introduction to that article. And at the end, it's gonna tell me to please copy this introduction into a draft document. Unfortunately, there's no way to automatically build these articles outside of ChatGPT. That's the one limitation so far. So you have to take each part and kind of put it together into a full article like puzzle pieces. So let's say I was writing on Medium. I would first grab the article title and it's Masterpieces and Movements, a Comprehensive Guide to Art History. Let's copy this, paste it into Medium, and then we're gonna take our introductory paragraph and paste it in. We have a lot of GPTs to cover, so I'm not gonna go through this whole thing, but what it basically does is it goes step by step and it's gonna write content for each of these article outline points. And then at the end, it's gonna generate a landscape image that you can use in your article that relates to the article title. And that is done with Dolly 3. And after each step, you're gonna take the text and you're gonna slowly build out your article on whatever website you're using, whether it's WordPress, Webflow, Bubble, Medium. And then last but not least, it also spits out the metadata for you, meta description, meta title, and your image metadata. So in the end, you'll have a full article, about 2,500 to 3,000 words, that is SEO optimized towards your keyword, and then you can post it and hopefully get traffic. All right, let's see its instructions in the back end. I'm gonna go to edit GPT, go to configure, and this is a long one. So I'm not gonna go through it, but you can pause the video now and look at all the text. Here's the first part, here's the second part. It's a bunch of steps and the last section. There's a little joke with this last part because people have been jailbreaking custom GPTs. I made a video about it and apparently this text stops bad actors from doing that. I don't really care, I was doing this all as a test. You can take all this text. But yeah, this is SEO Fox. Next is Video Idea Generator. Video Idea Generator generates SEO optimized YouTube titles and descriptions. Again, you start by entering a keyword below. When I was first making videos about YouTube, this was a custom GPT that I used all the time. Let's say my keyword was French pastries. The Video Idea Generator would quickly give me a video idea, so it would provide a title. If I had a YouTube channel and cooking, I'd be like, hey, I can make a video called Mastering French Pastries, A Beginner's Guide. And then it already wrote the description for me. So I can just paste that in, or I can follow this description and make a video that matches what it says here. This one's super simple. Let's go to Edit GPT, go to Configure. This is the prompt. Again, you can pause the video now if you want the full prompt. It separates it by steps and a task and a description. The next one is a daily fitness coach. I made this custom GPT as an example in another video. This one's gonna be deleted. I'm much better at creating GPTs now than I was in the past, and I have much better ideas for this than I might do in a future video. The next is Video Metadata AI. Another custom GPT for YouTube channels, Video Metadata AI writes all the metadata for your YouTube videos, and you start by pasting in a video transcript. So let's go to my YouTube channel. 
And I'm going to go to an old video. This is a video about the Sam Altman firing. He's the CEO of OpenAI. He was recently hired back, but this was a breaking news video of that event. I'm going to scroll down to the subtitles, click this, and this is my video transcript. Luckily, YouTube automatically generates your subtitles, so I can copy all of this, go back to Video Metadata AI, and paste in the transcript, hit enter, simple as that. And the custom GPT is going to summarize that transcript. It's going to write out some hashtags for me. It's going to craft the video title and it's going to generate the video tags. If we go in the back end, here's the custom instructions. If you want to pause the video, take a screenshot, look at what I'm saying, you can do that now. This custom GPT is laid out in three steps. Summarization and hashtags, crafting the video title, and then generating the video tags. The next is thumbnail imitator another GPT in my series of helping YouTube channels. Thumbnail Imitator recreates top performing YouTube thumbnails and you start by attaching an image below. So I'm gonna go to YouTube and we need to grab a thumbnail that we like the look of. So this is a cute one, it's a lo-fi radio station. I'm gonna right click, go copy link address. Then I'm gonna to go to a free YouTube thumbnail downloader. I'm gonna paste in the video link and I'm gonna right click and save image as. Back in ChatGPT, I'm gonna attach that image. This is the thumbnail image and hit enter. The GPT is first gonna describe the thumbnail in as much detail as possible. And then it's gonna to try to recreate that image using DALI 3. And here we go, this is what it thinks that the original thumbnail was like. And you know, it's not bad. I can see the resemblance, both Christmas themed. But what it does one more time is it tries another variation of the thumbnail so you have a choice between the two. And this is the variation. That's not bad, I like them both. All right, here's the prompt for Thumbnail Imitator. You can pause the video now. This custom GPT is created in multiple steps. And the most important factor is it needs to be created in a 16 by nine aspect ratio, because that's the landscape image that are YouTube thumbnails. The next one is comic book thumbnails. I created this GPT as an example of how you can make money on Fiverr.com. You can watch that video on my channel. The next GPT is Thumbnail Maker. So this is the one I personally use. So far it's been private. With today's video I'm going to release it as public. And all you have to do is paste in your video title and it's going to generate a minimalistic thumbnail for your video. Let's say my video was titled Boxing for Beginners. Thumbnail Maker makes a very simple thumbnail image. Look at this, it's two people boxing. I like these style of thumbnails. You can just add some text in an image editor like Canva and release this right to your channel. So if I go to Edit GPT and Configure, look how simple this prompt is. You can pause the video now. You know, sometimes the best GPTs come from the simplest prompts. The next GPT is called Progressively GPT. And this is a fun one. This is a joke one that I made based on memes I found in Reddit. And what it does is it creates a series of images, each progressively amplifying a specific theme or characteristic. So I give you a few examples at the bottom here, but I'm gonna create my own. And I saw this example a while ago and I really liked it. It's a dad that progressively gets more dad. So let's hit enter. And this one's cool. You can just watch and wait and enjoy the content that it creates. Okay, the first image is an image of a dad. He looks like he's in a house wearing a t-shirt in the living room. Okay, now the dad is outside and he's barbecuing. He's wearing an apron and it looks like a woman or is that a child? A woman or a child sitting on a chair outside. Okay, he's getting more dad. Now he's in the garage with a tool belt and a tool. Okay, next he's at his kid's soccer practice and he's wearing a little handbag around his chest and he's screaming, looks like at the ref. And last but not least, he's the best dad ever, world's greatest dad. Look at all the remotes. He's watching sports on every possible TV. He's become full dad mode. All right, in the back end, this is the prompt. Here's the first part. You can pause the video now. And here's the second part. So this custom GPT, I start with a task, an objective. I write out the process in multiple steps. And then I provide two examples so Dolly3 knows what I'm looking for. I suggest you do this with your prompts too. Next is the GPT prompt fixer. This custom GPT refines custom GPT instructions for better AI comprehension. 
start by writing your desired outcome. And basically what this GPT does is, you write out what you want, and then you know how I showed you how I make all my custom GPTs? I use tasks, processes, steps, examples. That's what GPT Prompt Fixer does. It turns your jumble text, your basic ideas, into a prompt that you can use right away for a custom GPT. So for example, I wrote out some jumble text, just a basic idea of what I wanna build. I wrote, I wanna make a custom GPT that creates web apps. First, it scopes out the basic features of the web app, then starts writing the web app with code. Then it asks the user to test the app and provide feedback. The next part is bug fixing and improvements, another iteration. Finally, if all completed, it suggests new features for the app that the user can build. I made a mistake earlier. Sometimes it doesn't really matter. You can have spelling errors, mistakes, grammar issues, not a big deal. This custom GPT will fix that all for you. I'm gonna hit enter. And here we go, it's refining the prompt for me. Boom, you are a custom GPT designed to assist in creating web apps. Here's step one, step two, step three, step four, step five, and finally step six. Then it offers me some feature suggestions like, hey, we can integrate with databases and APIs. We can have a version control system. We can create a user interface design tool. If I like any of these, I can ask this custom GPT to add it into the original prompt. If I like it as is, I can go up, I can copy this refined prompt. I can go to create a new GPT, go to the configure and just paste it into the instructions. We'll name it web app GPT. I'll add an image if necessary, a description, and there we go. We have our own custom GPT in less than 30 seconds. Here are the custom instructions for GPT prompt fixer. You can pause it now. We have a task, some steps. I have an optional step four. I'm gonna scroll down here. And if you wanna pause it again, here's just an example AI output to guide the custom GPT in writing exactly what we want it to write. Next is the content planner. This GPT assists users in creating a social media content plan. You start by providing details about your business. So I'll start with, I own a CrossFit gym in the fitness niche. And what Content Planner is gonna do is, first ask me for the name of the gym. Let's pretend it was Fit for Life. Then it will ask me about which social media platforms I post on. Let's say Instagram and Facebook. And now it's gonna create a two week content calendar for both of those platforms. So for example, week one, on both Instagram and Facebook, you're gonna post a motivational quote and then it's gonna give you an image suggestion, which is a background of gym equipment with the quote over top of it. Tuesday is just Instagram and it's a transformation Tuesday story. Wednesday is just Facebook and then et cetera, et cetera for two full weeks. This is the custom instruction. You can pause the video now if you wanna copy. This one's simple. I use GPT Prompt Fixer to make this GPT and it's just describing what it does and then multiple steps. Okay, the next is Wheel of Fortune GPT. I'm still working on this. It's gonna be a game within ChatGPT. It's not quite ready. Insta Content GPT is not ready yet either. The idea is you attach an image from your Instagram page, and then it gets Dolly3 to recreate images in a similar style for you to post. So it stays in the same type of content. It creates the description for you and the hashtags. If anyone's interested in this, please comment below and I'll finish this custom GPT. Okay, last but not least is Newsletter GPT. This is my newest one. It writes the perfect newsletter content every time. All you gotta do is start by providing some news article text. So if I was writing a newsletter, let's say it was about business, I'd open up a business newspaper. Okay, this is CBC Business, and I'd choose an article. This is about Visa and MasterCard processing. I'll open up this article, and what I do is scroll down, and copy all of the text of the article. Here we go, copy, go back to newsletter GPT. All I gotta do is paste that text in, hit enter. And what it's gonna do is summarize that article and then write out newsletter content in the style of Morning Brew. See, first it searches its knowledge base. That's all the examples I have about past Morning Brew issues. And here we go, swipe left for savings, Canada's credit card feed conundrum, and I won't read this whole article, but it's gonna be witty. You know, there's quick subheadings. It's perfect for an email newsletter. The perfect amount of text, 250 to 300 words about that article. In the back end, go to configure and open this up. Here's the custom instructions if you wanna pause the video now. 
I built this custom GPT in a different way. You can see I'm using markdown. The two stars means bold. I'm still using the steps, but I'm bolding some subheadings in the custom instructions. We found that this works when we got the secret prompt of ChatGPT. This is how OpenAI builds GPT-4. So we're copying that in our own custom GPTs for best results. It also uses capital letters to emphasize points. You can watch that other video on my channel. And this one's gonna be tough to copy because I also have Morning Brew examples. But what that knowledge base is, is just a document where I've pasted in some past issues of the Morning Brew so the AI can understand its style and tone. I have 15 examples now, but I'm gonna add some more in the future so it gets better results. All right, so those are all the custom GPTs I've made to date. If you guys have any ideas for custom GPTs that you want me to build, please write it in the comments below. I'll get creating and crafting them right away. I'm gonna make them all for free. I'll make videos about them so you know how to use it. Just give me some ideas, I'll do the hard work for you. Second, if you want any of these custom GPTs in the free version of ChatGPT, because you can only use custom GPTs on the plus plan, also write that in the comments below which one interests you the most. Now the image ones we can't do because you need Dolly 3, but some of the text ones I can recreate. I got a special unique way to do that using custom instructions. That's this section down here. Write which one you want in the comments below. Thanks for watching everybody. Later.